All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Dr. Stone season three, episode 14. In the last episode, we had a very good emotional episode. Um, Ginro decided to, well, not sacrifice himself, but he did put in the work. He got the answers we needed. We finally got to see what the petrification device was. Some kind of metal, unusually shaped object. Um, and yeah, uh, the Koako came up with the idea that if they're petrified, they can probably be saved. I really hope they can, or at the very least, well, I really hope they can. Koako should be fine, um, assuming they don't break their bodies into a million pieces and scatter them everywhere. Hopefully Ginro's fine too. Hopefully it was petrified in time. Um, but yeah, really emotional. Shout out Ginro. Really props to him for that episode. And um, yeah, we'll see how it's going to go from here. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. What's the name of this shape? I don't like, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's got like a specific name for this kind of shape, doesn't it? This like some future technology shit. Looks ridiculous, unless it was just some like hidden government shit or something. Oh, I wonder what Senku and Ko's reactions to this are going to be. I'm sure Senku will be like, eh, it's fine. We'll save them. Oh, <laughs> Don't make me tear up again. Oh, I love the trust that they have in each other. Even Ginro. Deal game, test of wit. Okay. Who are we reviving now? Oh, use Idia. Nice. <laughs> Taiju. <laughs> oh, he's such a gentleman. <laughs> he literally is. Yeah, she's back now putting pieces together. Oh, nice. This is exactly what we needed. <laughs> they all love being petrified for the humanity. It was fucking terrifying. Three D specialist. Oh, Ukyo. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's so nice to have everybody back. Oh my god. Someone's coming. His hearing's crazy. Wait, who's swimming? What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Did she get a look at that thing at all? Very small from down there. Oh, damn. The stone from the blood as well. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of look I was expecting from Senku, to be honest. Oh, he told him about that as well. Nice. Wait, how did Amaryllis know about that? Oh, Senku just distracted himself. We need, like, a hella pro fighter. God, if Tsukasa was here. But then again, he, he still needs to be petrified. The Kingdom of Science Brass. That does help, actually. Oh, yeah? What for? You stock up prick. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, but I think the most the most effective people at using the weapon though seem to be like athletic people who can aim properly. That's true, yeah. <laughs> he is indeed a nasty old man. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, shit. Yeah, so everybody else is out of the loop. Bitch, what the fuck? Where did you come from? How did nobody see him? Ukyo, your ears. Oh my god, he, he didn't even notice. Wow. Oh, shit, man. 
We haven't even got a good fighter right now. What does he think about that rel that information though? That might this might be a good thing. Oh shit. Bro, this is bad. Please let us work something out, please. Right? I don't get it. Chrome's about to big brain something. Ah, okay. So he's not on Ibuda's side? Not fully? Okay. Nice. We have something to work with here. <laughs> Again? Wait. Huh? It's gotta be you. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Okay, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, the Jerome. It's gotta be crazy for him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, the, the people of just this generation don't know any better. I, like, I don't know who would have the best chance in a fight here, to be honest. Like, Taiju's got the endurance. Soyu's probably a good fighter. Yeah, look at this kid. <laughs> What's Moses' goal? What does he want? That makes sense, actually, yeah. I heard about that, actually, when you're, like, uh, on a date or something. They sit next to you versus across from you. Makes you more comfortable. Yeah, you're just gassing him up. <laughs> Is he going to accept this? I was thinking that he was doing that. Like, he must be much stronger than that. <laughs> Bro, he is literally mansplain, manipulate, girl boss this bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. What does he want? I don't get this guy. What the hell does he want? <laughs> he really does look like Tsukasa. Yeah. But she she still thinks the master is alive, so that's a card to play as well. <laughs> we can help with that. <laughs> yeah again. <laughs> yeah. Again, you scumbag. <laughs> it's true, he could just kill everybody right now. Yeah? Absolutely not. We need something to turn the tables here. Oh, wait. This is part of Gen's plan? Oh, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, he's like diluted the situation. Good job, Gen. And then we can stab him in the back layer. <laughs> he's like, crazy, what the fuck is this? Aren't they going to notice if he has this big-ass earring all of a sudden, though? <laughs> oh, he's got no battery left. Probably. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mosh joined the party for now. <laughs> Do we have the drone? Are we having a little a few days' time skip here? Where are Koaku and um, Ginro? Their, their statues don't look like they're up there anymore. Oh. <laughs> what is it? A weapon? 
Oh, okay, they've made them like a proper weapon. The one he's got now is made of stone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. And he's got that logo on him as well. Damn, bro looks cool as hell. Pretty inconvenient, yeah. <laughs> Just because he can't hear both ways. Right, so that was Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 14. Moz has temporarily, at the very least, joined the squad. Um, I was saying we need a fighter, and it's uh, especially due to the fact that we were potentially going to be going up against Moz at some point, but it being Moz is fine. Um, I don't know like how it's going to work when they actually do kind of make a rush and make it, make a go for an attack, whether Moz will be fighting beside them or whether he will just like, I won't fight you, but I'm also not fighting for them. Um, hopefully he actually fights alongside them. Um, I wonder what it's what it's going to be to actually take like him down a notch and actually get the petrification device from him. Um, whether he will change his his reasoning for anything or not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, very good episode. Shout out again, Master Manipulator for real. Um, and we'll see what's going to happen in the next episode. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.